YouTube, what is going on? It is Mesa Sean back at it for PlanetDestiny.com, your only source for all things Destiny. Now this is the sniper rifle, the Supremacy, and you can only get this by completing the strikes for the Queen during the Queen's Wrath, which is ending October 6th. So if you haven't gotten this, better get on those strikes, guys. And coming up this week will be the Queen's Wrath Up. Uh, you see what I did there? Little play on words, I'm that witty. So now, I personally had a lot of fun with the Queen's Wrath event, but we want to hear from you guys here at Planet Destiny, so let us know in the comments section what you thought of the whole event. Did you guys have a good time? Did you guys get the unlocks? Did you get the spoils? Now, the intro footage of sniping in PvE is yours truly, Mesa Sean, the expert at sniping bots. But this footage here in PvP is none other than KJ Hovey. Check out his channel. He is just a beast of a sniper. His link will be in the description. Now this is a legendary sniper rifle which does arc damage, 257 attack, but we could bump that up to 300 once we fully mod her out. The two key attributes is that you can cool your grenades down faster as you get kills. And also, if you didn't already see, the reload animation is amazingly fast as you get precision headshot kills. Keep in mind, you gotta get ascendant energy ugh, and helium filaments to fully upgrade this weapon. Now with regards to scopes, we got three different choices here. The stock scope is your longest range, the eagle eye, and it does nothing to your stats. Second one is the long view, it's a long range scope, but you're going to take a little hit on the stability. And then your last scope is called the taxis, and that's going to be a mid-zoom scope, very useful for unpredictable situations, very stable, little less in range. Now outlaw, as I mentioned, precision kills, headshots, going to dramatically increase that reload speed, and you will want that, because the magazine only contains four rounds. Next upgrade, just your standard damage modifier, then we get to choose from snapshot, little hit on the range, but you can zoom in really, really fast, armor piercing rounds, which are going to over penetrate, which basically means you can shoot through enemies if they're weakened, and then your last one is going to be those lovely skip rounds, which maybe you could leave me in the comment section, do those things actually make a difference in either PvE or PvP, I've yet to find that out for myself. Next key attribute is going to be the Grenadier, which reduces the cooldown time of your grenades as you get kills. So, once again, you've got your four damage modifiers at the end. Get those helium filaments, but also get those ascendant energies, and we could bump that up to a full 300. Now, with regards to PvE, this is an excellent boss takedown gun. Does arc damage does a tremendous amount of attack when I was taken down let's say the fallen walkers when you're shooting at the legs I was doing about a thousand fifty off each shot alone so very very effective weapon when taking down bosses really wouldn't waste your time with just trying to snipe uh, your average maybe level 24 knights or something like that because remember you only have four rounds so I would only pull this out if you're going up against the boss or want to take down some really high level characters now with regards to PvP obviously we're gonna take it over to my man KJ Hovey and some of his thoughts now he feels it is an accurate gun and it is fun to use but that magazine size and fire rate are pretty much a huge deal breaker when it comes to PvP. Because it's going to be two shots to the body to take someone down and one shot to the head. So you have to be good with sniper rifles because if you go against someone else that's a better sniper than you or someone would say a Cirrus regime that does heavy heavy damage in the upper torso and head area, got to make sure you're really on point. But KJ does feel it does have its uses. As you can see a lot of his clips here, he'll, he'll start off with the sniper and then he'll finish them off with his primary weapon. Another piece of advice is this would not be a close quarter sniper rifle, mainly because of the scopes. They're very long range, not even really medium or to low range. So you want to use this on say maps like Bastion, Mars, or as well as uh, First Light Moon. So that is it for me guys, you know we here at Planet Destiny want to hear from you guys in the comment section so let us know, have you guys unlocked this gun, what are your thoughts, we know, how would you compare this to the sniper rifles that you like, and uh, I am no sniper so I definitely want to read those comments and hear from you. So that's it for me, keep it locked in here guys, your source for all things Destiny, and stay tuned this week we'll be having the Queen's Wrath Up video, and that's it, so make sure you drop a like on this video if you see fit, and also make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You stay beautiful, Guardians.